On behalf of our tech students, past and present, I'd like to thank you for sitting with us and sharing your stories. We're so excited to be here, learn from you, and share this conversation so that others can understand Tibetan culture and the effort to free Tibet. ตัวที่ชอบว่าที่เนี่ยมาอยู่เนี่ยเรื่องแต่ได้เนี่ยจะมาอยู่ที่ทำมาทำสุดเนี่ยนี่แค่อามาแค่ไหนกี่แต่
Actually, what she saying is that not only uh, they get uh, uh, dairy products from cat, uh, no, yeah, uh, other things, no, uh, sheep. They grew very close, and, and then they fled. <coughs> yeah, about they were about to flee to bed. And they got so much attached that they couldn't really give up them, you know. And also later on, when coming to in uh, Bhutan, they first uh, crossed Bhutan, so they um, they had great uh, problem because uh, over there in Tibet they had easy life because of um, uh, farm, little farm, and also from uh, um, dairy products. So having having had to give up all these things, they had to literally beg. Uh, uh, and to have small children also. So at that time especially, they <coughs> uh, really thought of uh, uh, and um, had the uh, uh, memory, memory of good life in Tibet, of an you know, easy life. Did you attend school or learn any skills before you left Tibet? I was <laughs> born in the house. I was 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 the house. I was born in the there were no schools, so uh, there were no opportunity for going to school like other <coughs> Tibetan people. And but uh, as for the skill, you mean uh, handicraft? You no, know, they <coughs> were, they have that uh, living, you know, living, <coughs> with, with, you know, and living. So like uh, living apron, living carpets, like from the, uh, the as uh, she said, she they had yards and other wool, uh, sheep. They they have wool, you no know, raw uh, raw materials there. So was there so they had that uh, sort of side occupation of when did you marry and how did you and your husband meet oh ama kela ne tu changsa jae ji do ani ka du jae yin sra ni pa kini ro ka tu tu da ding ka tu dang di ka ni tu le s changsa jae ji nga ni ro sen guru de ji de ni an ni ama jua bra ama di tu ni zo ji la lungwa de ji nga ジンバデ。ああ、だそうです。コンテナはジンベ。だそうです。どこでのにしてんねろこ。うん。ぶんねてんべし。ろちょけちょにしゅうてんねて。とんだらなんごちんべ。ああ、だそうです。ぶんだ
actually I forgot uh, earlier he Samhati. said that Pachin, you know, they are very quite related. Mm. Pachin's father, Pachin. you know, also they, they are Samhati. very nearby, you know, related. And what she continues to say is that she had, <coughs> of course, they grew, you know, very close and uh, um, become very loving to each other, you know, uh, as students. And she had his four, four children, uh, three children in Tibet itself. Well, Punga is Shilin. ไม่ต้องเจอกันนะนี่ทงเบอะไรอ่ะซึ่งเดอะอันเดอะซึ่งเดอะเจ็บผมดิเจเฮเบลก็ผู้เจอซึ่งเดอะซึ่งภาษา
刚刚没在就用哎，听着的就明哎，听着。今年嘛，没在要累累也过要累累些，另外管不听着。像我们这边的刚刚有。嗯。啊，是这里啊，人家 from how but somehow she said they came to know about that. Ah, this one is linked to that. But what she is describing is that uh, earlier this one the lama uh, uh, went to India for that uh, the. Uh, celebration of two two thousand five hundred years of um, Buddha's uh, birthday, centenary, you know, uh, birthday. Uh, at that time, uh, his one the Lama and Panchen Lama uh, visited uh, India, and also she, what she's saying that and around uh, a few years before nineteen fifty nine, uh, his one the Lama and Panchen Lama also visited um, China. She's telling more about that, and uh, as for. Where and how she uh, heard this? Uh, people around uh, her, no, they are saying that Chinese, uh, his one that Lama had already fled, and she is also saying that uh, no matter how rich, no matter uh, how powerful, no, uh, uh, people they feel they thought <coughs> it's better to feel Tibet, no, to follow his one that Lama. How did you plan your journey across the mountains? अन्य तू जगह लफ़े है जी दो इच्छाशी दिखाने से तीन तू यहाँ की इच्छाशी चलो यार तू यहाँ इच्छाशी कहाँ गोंदा निशा सिंह ने जेमी होटल यार सुबह मंगो सुबह 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 हम मंगो चीन चुन दो सम को नंबर तीन तंग बोल अंदर बाजें बाद आमाते के युवा बांग बाजें अम्मे आमाते के ये तंग कब बिंजा कंग बोल रुकूं च Anga sampang rupu je, ten saya tu ye siapa mana dah tutup saja, kau cakap tu se, tu kami satu tu ni al kahang cincin yang. Actually, uh, at the time they they thought of fleeing uh, Tibet, the Chinese are already in and they are well spread, so there are many informers and also spy, no, sp spying uh, over by Chinese, so they uh, <coughs> they uh, to the less of them uh, effort they try to assemble uh, as, as secretly as possible with as he says Chipachian last father and father's fathers like that with quite relatives they assemble in the house and they made uh, they made uh, of their mind to flit back and to, to arrange for the food and, and uh, stuff uh, necessary for that. Did you take any physical items from Tibet, or did you leave everything behind? Any when you took it, you know, when you took it, you took it, you know, 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 ते कुने माँ जगा लोग वैसे ना या थर्से लंगा या मरे मिठान राम में बो तुम कर दुकर तुम शा ये चूहे शा चूहे लेंगा इम्पीशन लेंगा दुए मो तो थारिंग में दे दुकर लोग बा एक्चुअली शी सेस दैट दे ओन हैड विथ देम थर्टीन यार्स अलोंग विथ लॉट नो दे दे लॉट थर्टीन यार्स एंड अपन रिचिंग बॉर्डर � and they said there is no part and all they, they are not allowed to uh, uh, proceed with them that much, you know, uh, 13 yards, you know. So they had to butter, you know, sell them, sell them and, and go on, you know, uh, without them. Who was in your party uh, for the journey? I mean, I was ตั้งอยู่เลยเดี๋ยวเราบุตรนี่เดี๋ยวเราจะดูในสุดที่อันนี้สุดเราก็สุดที่เราอันดับบางอย่างที่อามาเปิดเชลที่ฮานันฮาน
They were around 15 in the group, like uh, he <coughs> again and again saying this. Then Pachin, no, Pachin's father and their father's mother, they had I think uh, three children and uh, also one other. Shambhai calls the Pandian language. Shambhai, uh, one another Pandian family, they had uh, few members. So to in total they had around 15, no. And just <coughs> as other Tibetans who were fleeing them, uh, fleeing uh, Tibet that time, they had to avoid the uh, Chinese security, Thai security, so they had to mainly uh, trek uh, in the night, uh, sleep, mm, sleep during the daytime, and mainly uh, they uh, walk on, uh, in the night to avoid the Chinese army and security. So you said you had three children with you. Were two of your children born in Bhutan, or um, where where were they? Many dangi um, bela ne pus awasum yo sorapu pusum re bela ke re kare sum pusum bela ke. No sum bela ke. Ani the ni. Two ni ne wajib dul ke. Ni ni. Ni dul ke dul ke de. Yeah yeah yeah. Bhutan. <laughs> As her age is the case, you know. Mm -hmm. Were you carrying a child while you traveled across the mountains, or mm. were both conceived in Bhutan as well? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. That, that too, you mean, yeah. Ani thanda pella sum kero. Ani di thada dula yengi ni keng keng yengi jero. Ti langa ji. They were born later on in Bhutan, so not conceived on their own, but on the later on. You mean that? So, when I was asking if she was pregnant during the day? Yeah, 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 yeah that's, uh, I, I did my trial to know. She said, I was in the jail and I was in the jail. Yes, I was in the jail. I was in the jail. I was in the jail. Yes, I was in the jail. Yes, I was in the jail. 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 That's right. That's right. So she says that uh, they were born in uh, Bhutan also, she thinks uh, very much a uh, year, two years, two, three years later, so they, they, she was not pregnant in Bhutan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why did you have... Did you do She is concerned about my son. No, of course. I'm fine. So your husband did not join you on your journey, or...? Sorry, I'm just trying to... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Put your question. Um, okay, so how long did the journey take? I'm a kid, so I'm a kid, 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 I'm a Niam jadi komtu ba. Tiap hari ni hari kerja lepas. Tiap malam dalam hari tu jam itu pun kita. Lepas lepas jam lepas kalau hari tu kalau jam dia. Sudah kalau anda kau, tak kau makan kerja 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 yang mana? Berdarah sen jam yang kita. Jadi ni sen hari ni, jadi ni gol sen. Jadi ni gol sen. So she says that as other Tibetan says that if they were to be able to go straight, it's only take about five, six days, no? But they have to avoid the <coughs> Chinese and also uh, <coughs> they have to mainly walk uh, in the night, no? So it took about uh, two weeks to reach Bhutan border. 
What was the weather like during your journey? Ani lamgan tu pe di namshi gan de jong song san namshi. Nam pi te ki jong ko de dawa ki ve ki tera song min jan ki yong be. Ji ji nyo sa ban ba. Ji gan che ban ma bo ba. Ya ya ke ve ru kan da ben da ro. Hm ben da ki ve ki tera song ki yong be. Hm weather was fine because it was in the fourth Tibetan calendar that means third or fourth Tibetan calendar. It falls around June, July, like around this time, you know. It depends. It shifts, but you know, it's uh, let me say in Tibetan, you know, third or uh, fourth Tibetan calendar. That means it corresponds correspond to around June, July time, you know. So it says, she says that the weather is <coughs> not that bad. What hardships did you face? Any langa la kangi ro hardships? Langa ka kangi mi dupe. Tiri ni lau <laughs> dole se, yang sang hal lau <laughs> dole se. Tinder yang membalang kan kangen cebak kangen masuk. Dua kali sah. Dua lagi. Hal lau dole se mana? Jalan matang ba. Tapi tiri tiri dapat jenah. Ya lu kasa. Ni yang sang yang sang hal ni hal dua kali sih dia dua. Dua lagi gigi. Ya lah. Dua memang gigi. Ya ya lah. Fortunately, by the grace of Saint Dalai Lama, or you know, <coughs> by the grace of uh, three jewels, like as we call you know, uh, she says that they didn't face much problem, you know, uh, as uh, like other uh, Tibetans. Uh, uh, but on reaching uh, Bhutan, uh, they didn't have that sort of permanent, you know, game like that. They, you know, certain like that. They have, they are told to ship. Uh, uh, from here to there, here to there, uh, so they would, uh, they were very concerned, you know, about where, you know, the next, uh, where should they go next. Though the uh, Chinese army escort them to next place, they don't have really permanent settlement there, you know. They are worrying, oh, where, where should we go next? Is it our permanent, uh, what should we say, home? So they are not, they had that problem of impermanent, you know, uh, insecurity. How did you care for your family um, in your early years in exile? Uh, that Zenjo Lutsu Gen Ra, and that Thoma Zenjo Lutsu Pe Ra, did you name? Pardon? How did she take care of her family in her early years in the country? Yeah, yeah. Zenjo Tamu Lutsu Pe Di Ni Su Su Nami Ra, Nami Su Su Nami Ta Jong Chie Chie Ra, Nami La Su Jong Chie. What did you name? Can you name? Tu bukan jual lagi cincin, mila jual cincin. Jadi jual pun nang de, kurjau, kurjau, pernah kurjau ya, kurjau de. Jadi tahu pun jual lagi cincin, tu bela dia de, de. Cincin cincin, ni ni macam jual de, lepas tu jangan jangan rumit lagi, kita jual mila ni mila lepas tu jangan ni ni tunggu mana tunggu jual juga lah. Kau jual ni hobi ni, kari sulas. Kau jual ni trak de, jangan jual nang de ni, jual jual kecil. She says that uh, they had tent you know, with them you know, that they brought from Tibet and and also what they did for living is that uh, male members especially also strong uh, women you no know, members they go for labor they get paid for you know uh, sort of wages from Bhutanese uh, people around you know them and uh, through them through that I mean and also some uh, relief uh, you know, uh, <coughs> Uh, relief uh, funds from you know uh, for refugees they could uh, live there in uh, Bhutan and they afterward they when they got shifted to here by the grace of the Dalai Lama uh, and by the, uh, uh, by the support of uh, Indian people and Indian government uh, earlier people who came here you know uh, they got it uh, sort of settled here so they came uh, even the, to receive them from a uh, train station in Hubli, no? mm. uh, so uh, they were lucky that they didn't have, uh, they didn't have to face the problem the other people had to face earlier on, no? when they came here. It was forest, pure forest, no? they had to uh, clear that and all these things, they didn't go, have to, had to go through that. Mm -hmm. yeah. You had mentioned uh, begging at one point. When and how long did you beg, and did your family help you? Ah, then he, Amma is so young, right? And the capsule, and the long, long, the drawer, right? Right. And the day, last, last, do that. 
It was around uh, about uh, one year they had to uh, literally back in Bhutan. Hmm? And he, as she says, as she said earlier, and by the grace of his one Dalai Lama and Indian people, Indian government, support also to back in the uh, administration there in uh, Dharamsala, uh, they uh, were glad to receive uh, an invitation sort of, uh, to come here and have. Uh, to settle here, like other uh, people who have gone here, no? How and when did you send your son to uh, the monastery? Then, I mean, I'm a young guy. That get to them the jira, that. I mean, travel time, right? I mean, travel time, the kajit time, kajit time, kajin time is. Travel time, the. Yeah, but the Hongkong one just sold it, lah. Right, sir. ดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูด
Sorry, sorry, there was some misunderstanding. I, I thought she was saying something like that. Actually, Geshe Tudan Dojil was a monk there in Bhutan itself. No, so Bhutan, no? Now I understand. No, I'm so sorry. Actually, it was like that. Hello. Uh, at that time, they were in Bhutan. No, so <coughs> one monk from uh, Minya comes and Geshe Duden Doji, the, the one we were talking a lot of. No, the one, the, the one who uh, single handedly. Uh, uh, preserve no that that monk Geshe uh, Sambo. They, he came to Bhutan and they went to Bodh Gaya for Kalchagra. So they, without knowing he, uh, her, his mother, Geshe Dutendra's mother, he took yeah, Geshe Dutendra uh, to Bodh Gaya for Kalchagra. Yeah, and and without telling her also, they br brought him here for mon uh, the monastic uh, and studies here. Not that the previous thing, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. How did it feel to not know where your son was? I don't know. 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 I don't I don't know. 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 Uh, actually, they had one relative who was also a monk, and, and uh, he, she learned from him that uh, Geshila, one uh, Geshila Ndu Sangye, had taken Geshila Ndu uh, to here. No? So, actually, you know, of, of course, she was very worried because she knew that she heard a lot about uh, heat, everything, problem. No? Uh, problem here in India, especially she heard it's very hot like that. No, so she she was very concerned about uh, his children, his child's you know, health and uh, welfare. So very naturally, very worried the first time. How did you leave Bataan and why? I mean, I'm a kinzo drug yora, drug shan super yora. He, I mean. Actually, it was like you know, um, mainly the work of uh, uh, Tibetan Central uh, Tibetan <coughs> administration in Dharamsala and this one Dalai Lama that they saw the uh, better, <coughs> better <coughs> facility and better. Um, uh, support from uh, India than Bhutan. And though we are very grateful to Bhutan for their all support, you know, they had uh, given land, everything, but uh, uh, they are uh, cases where they are mistreated and you know, by you know, Bhutanese, and also uh, <coughs> they are very concerned and the support won't be you know, continued like that. So, Tibetan uh, 
uh, administration then Sarai, so the Lama thought it's better they shift, you know, here and allocate some land to them from and the existing, you know, uh, settlement given by, you know, uh, Indian state and Indian central government. How long did you live in Bhutan? And you live in Bhutan? I live in Bhutan. Sorry, she says that she really can't remember that clearly, but uh, she at, uh, at the time of fleeing to bed, she was 25, so maybe it's around 10, 11 years uh, she stayed. They stayed in Bhutan because she says that uh, after 40 years they did some uh, building works and uh, you know, after that they did some petty, petty you know, uh, business sort of uh, uh, little shops like that. So adding that, adding up, it's around 10, 11 years. She can't really remember that, but the young, youngsters, you know, younger ones, they say something like that, 10, 10, 11 years. Okay. When you left, where exactly did you go and what journey was, how was that journey? From uh, Bhutan to India. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. I don't know where to go. 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 ตักนั้นจะละตุอันตรังกะริตังพินตะมุเดเจเปวะตังกะละตังตุสันตังตุอันตรังเลวดานิชุมบิเพชุงนี่นี่อะริตุนั้นอันตรังตุนี่กูเ
that uh, lab in inter lab in India, especially in Elda, has been very good. It says, and <coughs> it really at times seems very coming all effortlessly. You know, very. Uh, initially, she yeah, she said that her family and she, she and her husband uh, went for sort of selling like that. No, sort of selling, you know, business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They go to major uh, cities and just for a few months, no. So they go for sort of selling, no. So they love not here, not here. Okay. You don't get that customers mm -hmm. here. You know. So they go outside they India, India, together. yeah, and they're focusing on Indian people, you know. Okay. Uh, yeah. So like that. Afterwards, she said she didn't have uh, to work that much, and uh, it was very fine, you know, taken care of by her children, and you no, know, as she said, by the grace of the Sun, everything is been fine. Mm -hmm. When did you begin to feel like India was your new home? I am a Jaga pain, Ra. I am a Jaga Susan Nando, Jura. I am a Jaga Logazus, Ra. Cousins don't tell her that Logazus, then or dental chasms. Hello, Yenema, you see two children, and you take on it. Jaga and well, me, so to see her. Take on one and the girl. Uh, after coming here, she says around at around like just after 10, 20 years she felt like you know uh, India is home. Hmm? And she's explains that when they came here, um, especially uh, those from Bhutan, they are <coughs> relatively new here, no? Before them, they actually, Indian government had built other houses, you know? So, uh, though it was easier for them when uh, they came here, other houses are there, eh? uh, they had to uh, um, uh, build, you know, the houses, even though it is not there, uh, like, um, uh, this, uh, today's house, it was not like simple one, no. They had to build them themselves. They didn't even uh, <coughs> pay Indians. They did themselves, and, uh, or everything they did, you know, um, housing work, you know, uh, to build their house, you know. Did you and your husband work together to build your house and your other buildings? I that that's so so giant and Gorakamba. I did any Amara get that to our lower Sunday, Rah. She's a Kamba giant, Kale, and you know, you got a Ganga Yambuja. Ah, Ganga Then me like your lagging, who made me go to you, me, she doesn't do any. Ninja the lagging and what is the heart to take it together. There's some group, you know, and so, uh, yeah, yeah, there's group and there's leader who oversees that. So they together, not just our uh, own house, but they, they together build the houses. Uh, and uh, funded, mainly funded financially, funded by uh, <coughs> Indian government and Tibetan government, you no. Know? So they had to um, oversee and work, you no, know, together as a group, not just one family, you no. Know? especially those who came from uh, Bhutan, you know, as a group. Is your husband still alive? Uh, and the uh, gang, that the Amagi Ra, and the Kunda Ra, Choga, and the Tonsa Ra, and Kadi Tonsa Ra. Two name are young and local tongue. Two name are young and local tongue. You sang and think you said that tongue. Man, bull and bull and basic tongue. Do that. ยันเนี่ยดูดูร้านทองอ่าดูร้านข้างบ้านเจ้าบ้านที่ชิคกงเบ้ยใช่ใช่ใช่ดูมาอย่างเงี้ยนะจ๊ะเรอไม่ใช
What was the cause of your husband's death? ไอ้เดี๋ยวเค้าก็อยู่แล้วเนี่ยสันดาตัวเองเกณฑ์ดีกันนั่นตรงเรียกันจะตรงเรียกนั่นตรงนั่นนั่นนั่นคนนั่น
One is one. Pony nurse, like I said. Pony. Ah, his two daughters is working as nurse, professional nurse, trained nurse. Ah. Who chose her? The Mang Mel. Ah. Mang Ting. Oh, pretty beloved with this. Oh, the beloved with this. Ah. And her, his youngest um son is in army. What do you want people to know about the Tibetan spirit and Tibet's struggle with China? Ma, that she says that she has not much to say upon this my insistence she is <laughs> she is telling something. Uh, what she says is that um, we are what we are, you know, our status uh, refugee. Though we are refugee, uh, our status um, in many respects are very good, you know. Uh, uh, in say uh, in able to try and able to be able to retain our identity, preserving our culture like that. So it was mainly uh, solely due to his one's Dalai Lama's vision, guidance, all these things. So what he, uh, and also by the support of the Indian government and, and other like well wishers like you, uh, no. So what he uh, uh, want to share or request, all is especially Tibetan, is that uh, we should um, strive our best to put our whole effort into uh, <coughs> trying to uh, treat the part uh, shown by his own Dalai Lama. That is the right part for you know we and uh, also mutually uh, uh, as you say our struggle with China. So it is mutually beneficial for both China and us and the whole world that uh, his own Dalai Lama is and we are uh, struggling by non-violence and also not uh, uh, striving uh, asking for total independence just for asking for union autonomy for Tibet that is what he says that he should um, uh, what his last word was that we should do whatever possible to uh, have his one the lama's long life that depends on our collective karma uh, especially of our Tibetan no, if we Tibetan don't do uh, good and don't collect uh, merit, now uh, he's, he won't live, no, uh, in that long. He came here to serve us, so it is dependent upon our karma, collective karma. So we should be very careful uh, to uh, do from our part uh, uh, to cultivate merit so that we can <coughs> reap uh, the fruit his one Dalai Lama is. What do you think makes Tibetan values and culture so special and unique to the world? The Amagi Ra, then Takasota, Nazuki Pugi, that Rishun Jura, that Najus and Rishun Jura, that the Zamina, that Tumma in Bado Jura, that the Tumma in Bado Jura, that the Indango Jura, Tumma in Bado Jura, that the Jura, that the Indango Jura, that the Jura, Yendangi <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what he says that when we talk about Tibetan culture and Buddhist culture, <coughs> though yeah, maybe we have um, 
and distinct pattern, you know, uh, authentic. But uh, mostly it is due to Buddha Dharma, you know, Buddhist culture, uh, Buddhist culture. So it is, as usual, the Dalai Lama always says, we are trying to <coughs> preserve and restore the Nalanda tradition of uh, Nalanda tradition of Buddhism that was so prevalent uh, at a time in India, Nalanda tradition. So <coughs> this Nalanda tradition has so much to offer for uh, uh, world peace and harmony. No? And but since, uh, as you see, <coughs> now it's very much in decline in India and elsewhere. So due to his one the Dalai Lama and, uh, <coughs> and as the consequences we could preserve that in our Tibetan co community as much as we can. So it um, so uniqueness when you say about unique Tibetan culture, we what she says that you know it's Nalanta tradition of Tibetan uh, Nalanta tradition that we are present uh, trying to preserve and that that, that uh, Lord Buddha's teaching no that uh, message of love and compassion and also combined with wisdom, no, wisdom and path, no. So that makes, you know, uh, our culture enriched, you know, by uh, Nalanda tradition and also combined with a uh, local Tibetan, you know, uh, culture prevalent then. Do you think that the current Dalai Lama will ever return to Tibet? And Dada and the other Majikundi Chubishi by Ra and a Pella and a Pap Ra Pat Chibuna, you would go with the S. Ah, the old Majikundi Chubishi by Ra and a Ra and a Pella Pella Oh, yeah, yeah. As, as far as uh, <coughs> her opinion is concerned, that in current situation it is not possible to uh, his one, for his one long, long time to, teach, uh, to return to bed. And also, she's very apprehensive uh, that uh, a time will come, you know, for, for his one long, long time. Personally speaking, you know, I'm very interested. What are your hopes for the future of today? I am a young man who is 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 a young man point no? but it means uh, as for future of uh, what he hopes what she hopes is that younger ones no those young young ones maybe he, she hopes that they will uh, a time will come uh, that youngsters uh, can return to Tibet but his one as Lama his one as Lama is in 80s so he she is very much apprehensive that you know during his lifetime it won't happen for as for the younger generation, she very much hopes they will return. And they have, it will, it will come a day when they return. Well, thank you again for your kindness, your time, your honesty, and for allowing us to hear about your life. We look forward to. Yeah, I did. Yeah, did. again. We look forward to archiving this and sharing your message with for generations to come. Thank you so much. She says uh, she is very sorry that uh, she can't remember that much to you know <coughs> really help you, you know in your recording and uh, uh, she says that she she very much afraid that anything worth recording, you know. Uh, sadly, she says that she don't remember 
uh, details, you know, uh, of uh, his, her journey, everything. Otherwise, it could be very interesting for you, you know. Mm -hmm. So, uh, <laughs> oh, it was very interesting. It was wonderful. I did, did, did. Yeah, you're good. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank